I'm Trevor Smith and I work at Kirby's and Kirby's is on the borders of uh, Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire and Northamptonshire too and I've been selling uh, Lexington Combine since they came out in 1996 and I would think I've sold up to 200 machines. In 1996 when I first sold the first, one of the first Lexington's to a customer the thing that got me was the radical improvement in output and the change in the machine from anything they'd previously made i.e. the engine being removed from behind the cab to behind the grain tank the introduction of two rotors instead of straw walkers and the more horsepower and the output changed phenomenally. A couple of years later from the introduction of the Lexion we had the Vario header and the Vario header complemented the machine tremendously because it took a lot less time to extend the header bottom for uh, combining rape, beans or any tall crops and the customer felt that that saved him an enormous lot of money and time uh, to swap to that position. In the year 2000 I sold the f one of the first uh, Lexington carbines on tracks and it proved to be one of the best inventions we'd had for combine harvesters because most customers uh, are interested in the compaction on the land especially on heavy land and clay land and the track solved all that for, because it brought the ground pressure down from 33 psi down to 11 and, and it also made the combine narrower, smoother to ride and it was a big improvement. And when the power spreader came out we found it was saving so much horsepower from the combine you could use in other departments and it spread the, the straw better, it was a lot better spread over a, long, a wider um, area. Um, with the introduction of the 40 foot headers uh, we found we've got a lovely even spread over the whole lot. With the Lexion Combine over the years we've introduced several uh, improvements and one of them was the variable rotor speed. On the early ones we had a belt we had to get off the Combine and change which could take you up to three quarters of an hour to do but now from the cab you can with the turn of a switch you can alter your rear rotors and improve your sample and your output in a matter of seconds and that was a big improvement and going on from that also the Bombay doors as we call them uh, the blanking plates at the front of the rotor to operate those on the headland is dead easy and that also improves the output of the combine phenomenally. With the Jetstream sieve we called it Jetstream because um, it improved the um, cleaning of the grain on the sieves the combine introduced a bigger drop from the grain pan which classifies the grain uh, down to the sieves and by, have, by extending that distance and up in the fan power we found that the combines could increase their forward speed and output by quite some difference. The thing that improved the, um, the customer output um, and the ease of setting the combine up was the introduction of the window in the cab to see your returns and as most operators will know you have to see your returns and on the class combine you've always been able to but it's much easier now with a window you just glance down to your right hand side and that was a big feature. Uh, going on from the um, 500 series we introduced the 600 and the 600 was our flagship for many years. Uh, the output was improved by at least 20% over the 580 and um, it, everything was bigger. The grain elevators were bigger, the augers to take the grain away was bigger, there was more horsepower and it became a machine for bigger acreages and everybody thought the world of that machine. However, We've now surpassed that with the 700 series, which has introduced a newer cab, a bit a wider cab, and more glass area to see what's going on. And we also introduced the CMOS to go in the cab, which is automatic setting of the machine as you're going along to improve everything, along with the new CBIS screen and the CBIS operation, incorporating the hotkey, um, which makes it life so much easier for the operator. And also, not forgetting, we have now dynamic cooling, 
which draws clean air from the sky over the machine to keep it cleaner and cooler throughout the harvest and also a reduction in horsepower requirement to operate the cooling system.